Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna talk about my one, two, three, four, four full bottle purchase. So yeah, let's get started. The first one that I'm most excited about is John Paul Gaultier Label. This is the most talked about. People love this. A lot of YouTubers rave about it. When I first got it, I'm just gonna be very honest. I was a little bit underwhelmed, but it's starting to grow on me. I want to tell you what my honest opinion is before I completely change my mind. So first of all, the packaging. Okay. So it came in this nice tin can, just like a classic John Paul Gaultier. The color is beautiful. To open this is so painful. It sits like this and you open it this way. Inside there's this like yogurt plastic that's supposed to protect the top of this. It broke when I first opened it, but it doesn't matter. What matters is the juice. It sits in this felfety looking thing. Yeah, so the presentation is just exquisite. Look at the bottle, it's so beautiful. It's like the Jean Paul Gaultier style with bling bling the glass is nice the, um there is no cap it has this like little pull tap that you pull so when it's on you can't really press down and when you pull it out then you are able to spray it. the problem with this pull tap is every time you open and close you literally scratch the neck of this beautiful bottle i um accidentally hit the the cap so as you can see there is um, a dent now. I'll show you something. This part is as cheap as my $18 Anthropology Aromir Fanil bottle. Even my Jessica Simpson Fancy is nicer. Even Ariana Grande Cloud is much sturdier. I love the bottle. When this sits on your vanity, you look instantly rich. All right, so let's talk about the juice. I got really excited and I've been wanting to pick this up. Every time I hear anybody talk about this, I like literally drool. I wanted it, I paid premium for it. The three notes that's listed here are pear, which I love, vetiver, and vanilla. Those are the three notes that I love. Pear and perfumery makes it juicy, makes it sweet. Vanilla, I love vanilla. Everybody loves vanilla and Fedifer. I love Fedifer. I have, one of my favorite perfume is Narciso EDP, the White Cube. Those are Fedifer and Gardenia. It's beautiful. Angel Muse has Fedifer. Beautiful. When I first sprayed this on, I was actually quite disappointed. It has the same vibe as Victor and Rolf Bonbon. The pear here in Jean Paul Gaultier is not a sweet pear. When I first read the notes, I thought this is going to be similar to my other favorite perfume, which is Seven for Choose Vanilla Woods. That one's pear, woods, um, and vanilla. But the pear there is juicy and sweet. This pear is sour, as green, and it's ripe. But it has the same vibe to me. This is a sour, tangy, ripe, almost to the point of overripe pear. It has that like booziness quality to it. Yeah, so this two shares the same vetiver. This one also has ambergris. And the ambergris here is actually reminds me of the ambergris in Paco Ruban Olympia. Should you go ahead and run and buy it? No, you don't. If you could imagine, it's essentially Olympia minus the salt, plus the feta fur from Angel Muse, plus the orange from Bon Bon. When you combine those three together, you get La Belle. On my right side, it smells quite generic, and on my left side, it smells like a f I smell juicy, ripe pear. It's sour, it's boozy, it's to the point of it almost go bad. So let's talk about performance. Performance is amazing. Longevity is super long lasting, but that's because of the ambergris in here. Ambergris just lasts a long time. It's a synthetic ambergris. 
Does it project? No, it doesn't project that much. Just like Bon Bon and Olympia, they're moderate projection. If you overspray, you could project more. It actually dies down quickly to a softer sillage. But yeah, you could apply it and it will project more. I just wanted to tell you that if you're on a budget and you really, really want label, I think you could wait for a little bit longer until the hype is down a little bit. You're gonna get it for a cheaper price if you could buy it from this counter side. Um, right now it's sold out everywhere. I got mine from eBay. This is not worth $90 to me. Hey guys, Future Always Mom here. I did a lot more testing on LaBelle. Here's my finding. I find that longevity is extremely impressive. It lasted to even 24 hours on my skin and it lasted after shower. It's in the form of a skin scent. It doesn't project much, but it's super long lasting. Uh, number two, this perfume is extremely addictive. I think it's because of the sweet sour scent. It's like so eating sweet sour food. Those could be mouth watering. It has that addictive quality. And then the third one is that this has become love. I now love this perfume, but I, this is somewhat of a mass pleasing perfume. So the second purchase, this is Angel Eau de Toilet 2019. Oh, this one smells like fruitier version of Angel caramel, apple, perline, berries. This one smells like a fruitier gourmand version of Angel. This one's really good. This is an auto toilet, so longevity is not that great. It's not, it's actually slightly lower than other Mugler longevity style, but it's good enough. Um, this one lasts about seven hours on my skin. Um, the siach is moderate. This is like a fruitier gourmand version of Angel. Sweet, young, happy. You know, you could wear this during summer as well. For me, I know that some people don't like to smell gourmand, fruity gourmand, but I do. I don't mind that. It also has patchouli. It's the patchouli here is pleasant. All right, so the third purchase. This is Dua Fragrance Cherry Casino. Mm, this one's cherry. Okay, so Dua is a niche brand. Um, they do an inspired collection. And this one, they're supposed to do an inspired collection between Tom Ford Lost Cherry and Baccarat Rouge 540 X-ray The Parfum. Um, this one retails for $65 for 30 mil. I got it on discount for 30% off during Memorial Day. This one's really nice. Longevity is amazing. It lasted more than 24 hours. Siach is great. Longevity is amazing. This is overall is really good buy. If you are looking for Tom Ford Lost Cherry and you don't want to pay for the price, just buy for this one. This is $65 and it has the Baccarat Rouge 5 as well, which is really amazing. I, this is just really good. I love Dua. I'm going to try more from the brand. Now the last but not least, <laughs> I decided to try this out. This is Swiss Arabian Chagav Oud. Is this is a dupe for Lancome Oud Bouquet. Guys, this one's taken me by surprise. Actually, out of everything that I bought, I enjoyed this one the most. I am most impressed with this one, Chagav Oud. So Moon Perfume talked about detail review between Lancome Oud Bouquet and Chagav Oud. I'm gonna link to her channel down below. Oh, this is really good. So let me tell you. Longevity is amazing. It's actually as long lasting as Dua Fragrance, um, Cherry Casino, Siaj. This one is higher, bigger Siaj compared to Lost Cherry because this is Oud. Oud is just heavier, you know, compared to Cherry Baccarat Rouge vibe. Baccarat Rouge 
Sillage is heavy, but it, it's not overwhelming. Once you put it on, you could overspray, and it still won't choke you to death, but this one will. This one's oud. This one's mouth-watering. It has saffron, it has oud, it has rose. And when I first smell it, I thought I smelled like an Arabic prince that's about to go clubbing. This smell is so familiar. I thought, you know, have you seen those like good looking Arabic guy and then they have this scent? And I always thought that they put on too much hair gel, but turns out it's their perfume. This one also smells like a Persian store. Yeah, when you first spray it on, it's like a sharp medicinal oud with saffron and then like a sweeter jammier rose starts appearing for about 30 minutes and then the rose disappeared and becomes a pleasant oud. I like the dry down more than the opening. This one lasts a long time. It projects a lot. Um, to me, this is like a must have in my collection because it's so different. I was really surprised of how much I enjoy this. A future Ollie's mom here. So I find that this Chagaf Oud, it's not an easy reach. So I probably won't be wearing this much just because it's one of those perfume that once you wear it, you love it so much, but then once you put it away, you never want to reach for it because it's so overwhelming. But I do think that this is one heck of a powerful suit. When I wear it, I feel transformed. I feel like I'm a very different person. I think the scent conveys so much confidence. It's a little bit arrogant in a way. I don't know if it's in a classy way, just very strong, heady, arrogant confidence. I like all of them. It's just that this one received so much hype that I was slightly disappointed. Comment down below if you have a LaBelle and what you think about it. If you're interested in participating in the giveaway, all you need to do is just like this video, subscribe to my channel, and then just type below which country you want me to ship the price. And that's it. Oh, and please write down what's your send for today. Today. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.